What are tokenized assets? Tokenized assets are based on blockchain technology. Blockchain technology forms the foundation of crypto assets like Bitcoin, Tether or Ethereum. However, the technology can also be used to tokenize assets. With tokenization, the economic value and rights for assets can be linked to digital tokens. The tokens can be bought, sold and traded on different blockchains. In addition, tokenization allows the ownership of assets to be divided into multiple units. The assets subunits are then represented by a digital token. Ownership rights to basically anything can be tokenized and stored on the blockchain, from music, real estate and gold to various kinds of financial securities. However, for tokenization, we need to distinguish two groups of assets. Real-world assets, like property, continue to exist off-chain or outside the blockchain. A custodian is needed to ensure that the tokens are backed by their real-world counterparts. Native assets, like cryptocurrencies, exist on-chain or on the blockchain. Native assets represent a value by their proper design and the existence on the blockchain. Therefore, the management of native assets is transparently documented in a distributed blockchain network without any need for external custodians. What are the benefits of asset tokenization? The tokenization of assets could provide several benefits for companies, investors and financial institutions. While it is comparatively easy for investors in developed markets to invest in equities or real estate, this is not the case in developing countries. A highly automated token issuance and management process combined with a high transaction speed can reduce the investment costs. Thus, tokenization can improve accessibility to investment opportunities for small investors in developing countries. In addition, tokenization could also give investors in developed countries better access to the financial market by eliminating intermediaries like stock exchanges. The tokenization of equities would allow retail investors to buy newly issued shares in the primary market and directly invest in publicly traded shares in the secondary market. Furthermore, tokenization could be used in highly illiquid markets that require large, little diversified investments into a single asset like private equity. Tokenization allows fractionalization of ownership for illiquid assets, helping retail investors to gain access to new asset classes. Asset tokenization may also benefit financial markets in general. The transaction history of tokenized assets is transparently and securely recorded on the blockchain. The security of a distributed blockchain network does not depend on a single point of failure. Additionally, the immutability of the record of tokenized assets and the use of cryptography improves the security and resilience of the infrastructure. Thus, market participants and regulators could automatically audit the assets and track their past ownership, reducing the market complexity. How does tokenized real estate work? Let us discuss the tokenization process of assets in more detail with a case study on real estate. Suppose that investor Alexa is the owner of an apartment and wants to invest $50,000 in a newly founded fintech startup. Tokenization can support Alexa's goal by converting the ownership claims for her apartment into any number of tradable tokens. In the following, we will describe the necessary nine-step process in detail. Assume that Alexa purchased the apartment from a real estate developer. When Alexa bought the apartment from the real estate developer, she also received 400,000 tokens. The real estate developer sent the tokens via the blockchain network to a custodial wallet of Alexa. This tokenization allows Alexa to easily trade parts in the ownership of the apartment. 
together with additional information about the apartment, such as location, potential buyers on a crypto exchange can get a transparent picture of the value of the tokens. Alexa observes that the token is currently trading at one dollar each on the open market of the crypto exchange. Alexa sends 50,000 tokens from her custodial wallet via the blockchain network to her crypto exchange wallet. Subsequently, Alexa offers the token for sale for one dollar each. Shortly after, investor Bob agrees to buy the 50,000 tokens from Alexa. Additionally, Alexa agrees that she will pay investor Bob an annual interest rate of 2.5% on the market value of the tokens. Furthermore, Alexa has the right to repurchase the tokens after two years. Alexa can now transfer the $50,000 she received from selling the tokens from her US dollar account on the crypto exchange to her bank account. Finally, Alexa can invest the money in the fintech startup. Suppose that after two years, Alexa's investment in the startup proved successful. In the meantime, Alexa also regularly paid the agreed upon interest to Bob. Moreover, the value of each token on the open market of the crypto exchange has increased to $1.25. Alexa decides to sell part of her ownership stake in the startup to buy back the 50,000 tokens. At the current token price, Alexa needs to sell an ownership stake worth 62,500 US dollars to repurchase the tokens. As soon as the startup deposits the funds in Alexa's bank account, she transfers the $62,500 to her US dollar account on the crypto exchange. After the funds arrive in her US dollar account, Alexa exercises her right to buy back the 50,000 apartment tokens from investor Bob. Finally, Alexa sends the tokens via the blockchain network back to her custodial wallet. What are the drawbacks and challenges of tokenization? Business models that rely on tokenization face several challenges inherent in the current token ecosystem. First, there are technological hurdles. For the broad adoption of tokenization, the current blockchains would need to scale efficiently to handle the high volume of data and transactions. Furthermore, the existing systems would need to interoperate securely. Second, the tokenization business ecosystem is still in an early stage of development. The demand for experienced technical and custodial partners is not yet met. However, the main implementation hurdle for the adoption of tokenization is the lack of widely accepted and sophisticated regulation. For real-world assets, disputes over property rights like the responsibility for asset storage, maintenance and security are particularly problematic. Solving these legal problems for physical assets requires some form of centralization of blockchain technology. This would be contrary to the design of current blockchains which are typically organized as a distributed network. However, these disadvantages are less severe for digital and blockchain native assets as they can largely be managed on chain. Overall, asset tokenization is at an early stage of development. We see the advantages of transparency and efficiency of tokenized assets, but we still have the high risks and uncertainty due to the lack of globally accepted regulatory standards. Many fintech business models are innovative and attractive. However, new financial instruments and business models have no guarantee to survive. Therefore, consumers and investors should always be aware of the potentially high risk. For more insights on tokenization and crypto assets, check out the book Fintech Business Models. Thank you.